everybody, Viewer London here, my name's Andrew. And my name is Ingrid. And today we're going to be reviewing six of the best smelling Juliet Has A Gun fragrances. Before we get started, if you enjoy fragrance as much as we do, please subscribe to our channel. And we have a perfume giveaway once a month for one lucky subscriber to our blog's newsletter. Wins a nice bottle of perfume. Please check all that out on the show notes. So first on our list is Lipstick Fever. Ingrid? Yes, Lipstick Fever um, Eau de Parfum is... Um, one of the latest uh, fragrances released by the brand yep. is 2020 perfume. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on like classic uh, lipstick fragrance. Fragrance of real lipstick. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's very glamorous, very feminine, sexy fragrance mm -hmm. with gourmet, gourmet um, notes. Sounds good. Okay, next up, um, fragrance notes. Okay, yeah, we've got top notes of violet and raspberry, and we have mid notes of iris and patchouli. And then we've got base notes of vanilla and cedar. So Ingrid, the fragrance itself, we have ourselves a sample. We have ourselves a sample. I'm going to try it out. Give yourself Shall a good... I, um... Yeah, go for it. Let's, let's get this done. That's a lot. <laughs> that's fine. Can't <laughs> smell it yet. Oh, that's nice. Yes. I can't smell it yet. You can't smell it. That's that's that's, that's that raspberry. Oh, oh I like it. Mm. You smell like raspberry mousse, darling. I mean, I'm not pretending. I'm not trying to pretend that I haven't smelled it before. No, but, no, no. We have. We, time... <laughs> we have. This is to tell the viewers we have smelled all these before. Hence, why we've selected five. So when we call them the best smelling, it's our interpretation of the best. So smelling. Every single time you spray it, and it's just like. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> hmm. So what are you getting? I'm um, getting. I'm getting woody notes. Are you? Yeah. It's. Um, it's certainly woody. Um, Certainly raspberry fruity, isn't it? It's, it's light, it does, it, light fruits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Because the top notes are raspberry. Mm -hmm. Delicate florals in there as well. Yeah, it's very, mm -hmm. very delicate floral-wise. Yeah. Yes, it is very delicate. Oh, it's very, very, very nice. But, but I can smell basic notes mm -hmm. straight away, which is really strange. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, sometimes these things go a bit <laughs> quicker. I think we should give it 10 minutes to dry mm -hmm. down. What do you think? Yes. Wait. Okay, we'll come back in 10. So, Ingrid... 10 minutes has gone by. They have. How's it coming along? It's very gentle fragrance. Yeah, oh yeah, but it's certainly still there. Very, very, yes, it is there. What do you think? Um, I don't detect any fruits, but I get the flowers mm -hmm. and I get the, the base notes as I was getting at the beginning. Okay. But what, it's very I? mild fragrance. Mm. It's really, no, it's really mild and very um, lightweight, mm. like have a light fragrance. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's delicate. Mm. I, I'm complete polar opposite. <laughs> I get raspberry and patchouli because it's kind of that musky, sweet. Yeah, so I get patchouli smell. too because, yes, it's And a bit of woody. It's yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. with that. So, um, time of year, darling, what do you think? Time of year, uh, spring, summer. Mm hmm. And longevity? Uh, longevity, uh, it? yes, it's, it's medium, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, long it's lasting, like, so yeah. it will be like about four hours. Four hours, we'll give four hours. So, as for the bottle, looks rather fancy. It's red. Nice, rich red lipstick colour. Very nice. Number two on the list is Vanilla Vibes. Ingrid, want to give us a quick rundown? Yeah, Vanilla Vibes, um, Eau de Parfum. It's very sensual, feminine fragrance. Uh, it's like vanilla twisted with sea salt um, notes. Very nice. Of fragrance. Very good. Next up will be... Um, Notes. Okay, yeah, we've got top notes of salt, uh, mid notes of vanilla and orchid. And then we've got base notes of sandalwood, tonka bean, musk and benzoin. So now for the sampling, uh, we cheekily bought the Discovery set plus the extra little Lipstick Fever 2020 because we can't afford to buy every bottle for you guys unless you want to donate a load of money. So Ingrid, you want to quickly whip that one out? Right. <laughs> you just see which one Yeah, you got it? Okay, <laughs> we're good. Give yourself a shake and a spray, please, my love. Okay. So this one is Vanilla, vanilla vibes. vibes. Okay, we'll give that a moment. Oh, very vanilla. Very, very vanilla. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that's very lovely. nice. I like it. Mm, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. On initial inspection, it that's is. fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's just what you would expect from vanilla fragrance. Yeah, it is a little salty, actually. I don't know if that's subliminal because I've no, read it now. it is salty. It no, is a little no, bit no, salty. You, like can, you can detect it straight away. It's very like being by, you know... Um, at the beach, every mm. hour by the sea. Okay. Oh. So, should we give this 10 minutes to settle, then come back? Oh, we should, we should. Initial inspection. Fantastic. We'll come back in 10. 
So, 10 minutes has gone by. Ingrid, what do you think? Can't stop. <laughs> She's got that look on her face. That's a good, <laughs> positive look. It is nice. And it's funny because it is a little bit salty. It's salty and that... saltiness you get with the first spray together with vanilla. That's what you get. Yes, it is. So it's sort of salty, vanilla, but it is a bit creamy as well. It so is like creamy. Tonka beanie kind yeah, of creamy. Yeah. Can't pick up my shells, but to be honest, don't need to pick up my shells. That's very nice. Yeah, I don't I don't get any wood you notes know, no. or anything. No. They're probably, they, they're just a bit, mm -hmm. you know, more... Gentle. Yeah, and I'm not getting gentle. much floral, like no. it says orchid in there. No. I'm not getting a busting lot of that, but you know what, the villainette combo with the salt is so nice, oh, I don't think you need it anyway. Yeah. Um, went to wear, fairly obvious, but... Yes, yeah, summertime. Yeah, summertime fragrance, and longevity... Um, it, four plus hours? Yeah, I don't think it's a super long it's one, because of the style long, of fragrance, yeah. but it's certainly worth a top-up. It is wonderful, it's absolutely amazing fragrance, and it's the perfect fragrance probably uh, for summer holiday. Yes, very nice. Um, as for the bottle, Ingrid, what do we think of the bottle? Well, uh, the bottle, the bottle represents kind of like a seaside, it doesn't it? Kind of is, yeah. It's, it's a like a seaside bit of beach, vibe. a bit of sea, and a bit of sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sun, sand, sky, very, and all that. It looks colorful. very, it looks very, very nice. So, Ingrid, number three on the list is mm, Eau de Parfum. Do you want to give us a quick intro? It's a gourmet um, scent mm -hmm. um, inspired by childhood memories of um, delicious. <laughs> Um, pleasures. Oh, well, like sweets and things. <laughs> yeah, like a sweets ah. and things. It's very fun, elegant, female fragrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it like the delicious pleasures, like at Christmas when I was always hunting in the tin of Quality Street <laughs> for the little triangly <laughs> green ones that everybody would always steal? But I don't know if it's the same thing. We'll see if it smells similar. Next up, fragrance notes. Okay, we have top notes of the little triangle sweets in Quality Street. No, I'm joking. We've got top notes of neroli, geranium, and raspberry. We've got mid notes of orange blossom, tuberose, jasmine, and iris. Mm -hmm. And we've got base notes, sounds quite nice and smooth here. Mm -hmm. We've got caramel, heliotrope, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. So, Ingrid, do you want to get the little sample out? Little sample? Would you like me? I tell you what, we're going to spray me up. We had a chat in the break, and we're going to spray you, me. You, you'll smell. Mm. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Well, it's just that you've obviously washed yourself with probably fairy liquid or something, so everything was more like fairy liquid. <laughs> oh, wow. I, c I couldn't wear that oh. as a man, but that's fantastic. Oh, I like it. I'd like that on you. It does that's remind the... me of my childhood, actually. That's the best one yet. I used to I used to have something Ooh. similar to this. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Apart from us saying, ah, oh, which isn't very descriptive, <laughs> mm. I'm going to go in and say it is actually quite floral, Little bit fruity, but more floral than fruity. What do you think, Ingrid? Anything else to say on that? Obviously, we haven't let it settle I can, yet. But... I can smell raspberry, and I can mm. smell, I can smell all the sugary notes. It's very sophisticated. I'm, I'm, it's almost I'm very sensitive to sugars. It's almost like a Ch Chanelli kind of fragrance with the depth. Um, I think we should let that. It sit. is quite. Um, it's got those like delicious gourmet notes in mm. it. We can let that settle for ten minutes. So we're giving that 10 minutes, Ingrid, have a smell. What do you think of mmm? I love it. I love it because it's just a mixture of all these perfume notes and they yes. didn't go anywhere. They're all there, you know, from the first spray when you sprayed it. Yes, it I just, agree. Everything stays there. It's still there. It is, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with Ingrid. It's, it's very, I suppose you call it linear. It's what almost from the first moment you spray it is... Ten, I mean, we've only given it 10 minutes, but it's the same. It's fantastic. Mm. It's got so many notes in it, like Ingrid was saying. It's very floral. Um, it's musky. It's, yeah. oh, it's yeah, incredible. Yeah, I, I, I can smell caramel, which is quite mm -hmm. visible there. Yeah. And, and woody notes as well, which is sandalwood we have there, and the musk. Mm -hmm. You can detect it all, and it's all blended nicely with all those Yeah, no, it's, it's very nice. I don't get a ton of vanilla. No. It, it's dancing around there somewhere, but I wouldn't say this is a vanilla-centric fragrance. But mm. I think it's very classy, sophisticated. I think I've said it before in other fragrances. It reminds me of my mum when she used to get dressed up to go out somewhere posh. <laughs> would kind of smell a bit classy like this, and uh, yeah. Fantastic. I think we both love this one, don't we? Yes, we do. love all of them, but this one in particular. <laughs> so, Ingrid, um, season to wear, when do you see yourself wearing this one? Um, it's more autumn-y, spring mm. 
nighttime fragrance for me, but I wouldn't say no wearing it in the summer. Yeah, I think you could do yeah. all year round. Easy. And to yes. hell what any other reviews say on any other very well-known websites. Um, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, would you more of an evening or daytime? Um, or? Summertime, it would be more evening mm -hmm. fragrance for me. Okay. Autumn, spring, because the weather is fresher, I would wear a daytime yeah. as well. Yeah, I kind of think you wear to a lot of wedding reception, that kind of thing. Very nice. And longevity, you um, have sprayed this before. Yes, it is six hours plus. Yeah, very good. Yeah, at least. So, as for the bottle, Ingrid, looks rather fancy yeah. in red. Yeah, fancy red. raspberry. It's raspberry red. Raspberry red. Raspberry red, represents beauty, beautifully decorated in some florals. And it's topped with some silver topper. Yep. What's Looks not to really like, I say. So, next up, number four, Lady Vengeance. Lady Vengeance, eau de parfum. Very powerful and dramatic, sort of seductive. Oh, nice. Fragrance, uh, empowering and energetic. Blight, I'm worn out thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> now onto the fragrance now, Sandra. Okay, yep. Yeah, okay, so we have top notes of bergamot and lavender. And we have mid notes of Bulgarian Rose, Moroccan Rose. We've got the ISO Super E, and we've got Patchouli and Geranium. Then we've got base notes of um, Broxen, Vanilla, and White Musk. So, Ingrid, we have a sample of Lady Vengeance. Um, I think we, we, we said we'll spray on this arm as we have a spare un, unsprayed arm yet. God, blimey, that is a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see my swamps. Am I going to turn into a lady assassin now? <laughs> oh, that is completely different from the last fragrance. And it's very well, nice. It must be different. Have, have a smell. No, I mean polar opposite. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you think, darling? I we love need a it. Comment. Uh, you love it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I love it. Yes, it's, it's, it is lavendery. It is a bit fresh lavender. initially. Yeah, yeah, but but rosy as well. Yeah, we were certainly getting some it, rose already. It's 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 just like you know rosy fragrance, mm -hmm. but it's all mixed with ton of other ingredients. Yeah, and it's not shouting screaming at you that it's rose, rose, mm -hmm. rose. Yeah. Okay. Well, should we uh, do the usual? Give it ten minutes, and we'll yeah. see if I turn into a lady assassin or not. <laughs> So we're giving Lady Vengeance 10 minutes to settle down. Yep. Yeah, Ingrid, what do you think? It's the perfume for all rose fragrance lovers. Mm. It smells of rose really, you know, it's very strong rosy um, fragrance. Yeah, but I don't think it's old lady overdone rose. No, I think it's, it's not overdone. It's got a like, modern vibe. Mm. But it is, like as you're smelling this fragrance, I feel mm. that I can just see rose do you know what i mean and it's there but it's got other things there, there's certainly some patchouli and musk in there but it's almost like they're separate rather than it's just like some way whereas mm was quite intertwined yeah. lots of fragrances this is rose with some other more subtle fragrances yeah, so, there but it's yeah. lovely so you have like a main mm -hmm. ingredient it is there's mainly a rose, rose yeah and then i can get bergamot that citrusy zingy mm -hmm. yep. uh, fragrance i don't get any lavender to be honest but then I have no. vanilla mm -hmm. and I have woody notes, mm -hmm. so I can detect yeah. that. But a lot going rose on. just comes. Yeah, it comes is the rose. Through. I think the, the rose is going to dominate the lavender it is or dominating. anything else. But it's very nice. If you like rosy fragrances, I, I think it's it's, it's a fresh. Beautiful rose. So it's very pretty, isn't it? Is it? It's pretty. just too pretty for me. So Ingrid, um, seasons to wear and like uh, time to wear. What, what do you think? Any time of year, in my opinion, um, I can see myself wearing it in yeah. the summer because it's I kind of you know rose is a summer flower. Spring, autumn, even winter time. Yeah. Maybe not so much winter. Yeah, I think. But you, you can, can still get a bit of musk going on in there. I think it's it's it's, it's delightful. Mm. Really, really. Longevity nice is mm -hmm. long lasting. Um, five, mm -hmm. six hours, yeah. I would say. Yeah, good five plus. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. And as for the bottle, Ingrid, what do we think? Is it pretty? Well, it's pretty black <laughs> color. It's pretty black. Yes. <laughs> So it's my favourite colour. Your favourite colour, it is indeed. So yeah, it comes in beautiful black with Lady Vengeance written in blood red. Mm. I imagine it's uh, blood red of some victim. Yep. And overall, very, very nice looking. It is very nice. So number five on the list is another Oud. Ingrid, want to give us a quick run through? Another Oud Eau de Parfum is Oriental Fragrance. Uh, it's very opulent, mm -hmm. sort of intoxicating, very modern, mm -hmm. contemporary as I say. Um, scent. Okay. 
Um, now into fragrance net. Okay, yeah, we've got top notes of bergamot and raspberry. They do seem to put a bit of raspberry in these fragrances. Mm. I think it's really yeah. nice. Um, we've got mid notes of, unsurprisingly, we have oud. And then we've got base notes of musk and ambroxan. I'm ready to spray myself. You have a sample on a clean arm. That's it. A bit, bit more because I'll Yeah, nice give me a bit. I'm not. Uh, no, this is never that Working great. my magic then. Mm -hmm. May I? Oh, yes, you may. Oh, wow. That's very nice. That's fantastic. You know, I like that at the beginning. That's yeah. a great opening. You know the name, another oud, mm -hmm. and you think, oh, mm. oud. <laughs> yeah. But when I sprayed it, it's just like, wow. It is. I mean, okay, I'm going to say it's oudy. It is woody. It is woody. It's, it's, it's musky. I'm not really getting any bergamot or raspberry, to be honest. But it's it's lovely. It's very, very nice. Yes, it's woody. And it's sweet. Yes. And I get yes. bergamot there. Yep. I get raspberry, sort of, you yeah, know, I, I, I have that I juiciness. That. I have that fruity. Yeah. Can we give it 10 minutes, my oh, love? yes. We're going to give it 10 minutes. We're going to come back. Stop enjoying yourself, Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. So, 10 minutes later, Ingrid. 10 minutes later. I still love it. It does smell really nice, doesn't it, from here? It's got great projection. That's very nice. It's, it's certainly oudy. It's certainly another oud, yeah. as they call it. It's a different type of oudy fragrance, mm -hmm. and it's probably the best smelling oud fragrance I've smelled so far from yeah. all oudy, oudy based fragrances. I think that's quite interesting because I don't usually like oud fragrances no, just neither. on their own, mm -hmm. but that I think is really nice. I'd, very... I'd wear that as a man, mm -hmm. I think. Um... It's lovely, it's sweet. Mm. Not not too it's sweet, but it's sweet. sweet spicy. You, you have spiciness, mm. you have that um, woody woodiness mm -hmm. you know you have warmth you have musky in there musky musky uh, tones in there there's a lot going on i think it's fair to say yeah but um, it's lovely like it i love it um <laughs> um love it good excellent i love it too i think that's a, <laughs> a win-win so certainly next time you're out and about if you get yourself a little cheeky sample or just blind by it if you're feeling flush um, i think you're onto a winner so ingrid uh, as for winter wear what, what do you think about that one uh definitely cold season fragrance yeah it is cold season yeah fragrance. it's yeah, autumn, autumn winter, winter. Mm. more winter than autumn probably lovely though very nice yes and more um, evening type maybe i think it is dressing up i think yes. it deserves to be dressed up that yeah. fragrance i think that's really nice yeah it's going out fragrance yeah and longevity has got to be six plus and yes it's, like it, it, yeah. and it's really heavy silage yeah. as well oh yeah yeah yeah, it yeah. Is. it's good projection as well very mm -hmm. very very nice um as for the bottle ingrid <laughs> what do oh. we think what do we think well it's a wide bottle yeah um it looks nice well nice it looks nice with all the gold golden mm -hmm. print um yeah of, um, gold you caps know. well yeah. yeah very nice we're happy with the bottle so finally, we make it to number six on our list, Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule, indeed. This odor for farm is very sunny and very happy mm -hmm. fragrance, fresh. Um, and it's based on, inspired apparently, um, by Moscow Mule cocktail. Oh, nice. So if we don't like the smell, we can drink it. <laughs> so next up will be um, fragrance notes. Yeah, okay. So we've got top notes of quite light and crisp is uh, bergamot. Um, lemon and lime. Then we've got mid notes of ginger, apple, and hedion. Mm. Uh, hedion is that aphrodisiac, so they say. Then we've got woody notes uh, in the base uh, amberwood, ambrette, and white musk. So, Ingrid, we have a sample of Moscow Mule. Can I? Use... And, and we're going to use my arm on this one, uh, freshly cleaned. That's enough, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that is really nice already. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Apart from oh. us saying it's really nice, let's give the viewers something a bit more <laughs> meat around the bones. It smells citrusy. It is. It's with. fresh. It's, it's bright. It's fresh. It's sweet. Ginger. It's got ginger there, though, as well. It has got ginger. Oh, nice little nip of ginger. Yes, mm. it's lovely. That's really nice. I, th I think, obviously, bright and fresh with a bit of ginger opening. Let's give it a bit of time to settle and we'll come right back. So, Moscow Mule, we've given it good 10 minutes. Yes, In Ingrid, yeah. would you like to have a little uh, sample? Oh, it's really nice. It smells of apples now. It's oh. like green, fresh apples. It is nice. Crisp, it is apple -y. Crisp. 
And and a jasmine, you get jasmine there yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean it's not listed as jasmine, but I um, wrote a very long review on mm. fragrances with Hedion mm. in, and that is um, basically it's a jasmine substitute. It's so, like uh, synthetic jasmine then. Yeah, of course they call it an aphrodisiac as well, just to throw it in to get you to buy it. But uh, that is fantastic. So just to summarise, um, it's. It's still light, it's crisp, it's ginger, it's got a bit of apple in there, it's like a sweet jasmine-y kind of smell. It's one of them fragrances you can't stop smelling. Mm. Uh, what do you think, Ingrid? Oh, it's really refreshing and very happy, sunny, sparkling, like, a, you know, full of summer mm -hmm. vibes fragrance. Yep. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so that probably leads on nicely to when, when to wear. What, um, what do you think? Summer, spring. Yeah, definitely. Or spring, summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, day More night. summer than spring. I, I think, I think it, it's daytime. Really? I, I, I think like, late afternoon, early evening to mm, get it in there. Yeah, but it's mm, more daytime nice, fragrance yeah. for little, me. Mm -hmm. A little bit of musk in there. Um, longevity, we have sprayed it before. Um, so four, four plus. five hours. Give it four plus. Yeah, yeah. reasonable. It uh, is protection. reasonable, yes, mm. yes. It's it's not bad. Not bad. At all. Well, I really like it. Um, overall, winner or a loser? What do you think? It is a winner. Yeah, it is a winner. Okay. Um, as for the bottle, it's kind of a creamy white yes, version. Yes, well, it's, it's it's a bit fancy with rose um, rose gold cap on mm -hmm. top of it, and then the printing is nice and clean. Very nice. Yep. So to summarise, that was six fantastic fragrances from Julia Azagan. We've both picked our winner. We have different winners. Ingrid, yes. what's yours? Lady Vengeance. Okay, very nice. And I'm going for... Mm, mm. Very nice. But I must say, we, we enjoyed like all them. of them. Yeah, so and we'll, we'll like them all. I yeah. mean, I couldn't stop smiling all the way through because I love them all. So, yeah. Yeah. Good choices. And I've got to say, although I've still got it on me, Moscow Mule was a close <laughs> second because it's, it's also really nice. Happy with any of them. So that wraps it up for our video review of the best smelling Julia Azagun fragrances. Hope it was helpful for you and we'll see you on the next video. Thank Take care. You. Thank you for watching. So we just want to say a big thank you for all you guys that have been commenting um, on our various videos. Uh, in particular, I've got a few shout outs. We've got Mary Beth. Thank you, Mary Beth, for all your comments. Jane, as always. We've got Rania Kaiser. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. We've got Amya Val. Um, Angelo Monte Mayer and finally Miss Felly. Thank you for the Olympia idea. So we're going to do an interesting Olympia um, comparison video, which will be coming up in the next coming months. Hi everybody, Viora London here. My name's Andrew. My name is Ingrid. And today we're going to be reviewing five of the best smelling. What's it called again? <laughs> oh no, Julia, Julia has, has a gun. gun. Oh. <laughs> Um, okay. Classic lipstick fl um, fragrance. Okay. Notes. There was a lot of stuttering going on there. Can you do that again? Sorry, my love. Oh, don't give me the look. <laughs> so first on our list, Ingrid is. <sighs> no worries. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. I'm really rubbish. I think I think I might have one of those. Well, you didn't have get enough in, coffee yet. Getting old. I oh, know, the, the coffee so hasn't kicked in. Want okay. chocolate? No, <clears throat> leave me alone with chocolate. Okay, here we go.